Hello gorgeous, here are my warm and fuzzy seasonal weekly faves. I use some of these things all year round, but especially right now. And the first thing is my fuzzy robe. I got this a couple years ago from Amazon and they have different animals. This is a koala one and I had it in my Amazon cart. My husband he used my Amazon account and then he logged into his old one and purchased it for me as a gift so he couldn't see it on the order list because at the time it was my account. It was a pleasant surprise. It is very comfy. I still use it today. And you might see me in some videos wearing a dressing gown and it's this. And it's so fuzzy. It's worn out and it's still wearing out. And I use it every single day. All the things here are things that I use regularly <laughs> and every season and sometimes all year round. I cannot tell you enough that this is polyester. It's so fuzzy. It's so soft. And it still managed to stay very soft because there are things that you wash them and then you wash them on too high of a heat and then all of a sudden they start getting crusty and hard this has gotten a little crusty because i washed it wrong but then my husband took charge of the laundry again because i hand wash laundry and then he does the machine laundry it lasted me for years now i think i got this three years ago two two or three years ago right now it's snowing outside and it's beautiful it's a wonderful day it's next is my treadmill so you guys know for those of you who have been following me i have a pink treadmill and it's really barbie glam because i wanted to make my workouts more personalized and more exciting to look forward to and it also feels like the gym is more personalized to me and it makes me excited to work out because i hate working out but i do it anyway put my emotions to the side and blitz myself at the gym till it hurts. I brought that here to Lexington, Kentucky. I got this new treadmill, brought it all the way up the stairs to pack it in the house, and it is so compact. It comes in black and white. It's really easy to store, so you can put it under the bed, you can put it into the closet, onto the side, because there is no top handle. It's literally just a platform that you, it's like like at the grocery store where it's the conveyor belt it's kind of like that but it's remote controlled so you can manage it you are free you have to get used to the idea of not using your hands so you have to hop on and hop off if you want to stop and break and uh, drink some water for me personally i need it because of this space and the storage and i don't like having a lot of stuff and the thing i hate about gyms is that it needs a lot of space if you have a lot of exercise equipment it takes up so much room and it's hard to look at this is really sleek looking so obvious that that corner is going to be like where your exercise bike is no you put it away it's very discreet it's very elegant i've been using it every single day since the day i missed like one day i can work out without having to go outside without having to drive through the snow to go to the gym and it's so convenient and it's very very affordable and it lasted me a long time i still have the pink treadmill in the hollywood hills house that's not going anywhere i'm still gonna work out when i am there i'll also link my pink treadmill below just in case you're interested and you're like pink treadmill there's such thing like it doesn't have a screen on it for watching tv it just has the screen that tells you the calories like at the gym does and i'm not particularly worried about burning calories or tracking all of that i simply just go until i sweat and sweat until i hurt next are diptyque candles so i think diptyque candles are a really luxurious way to make your home feel comfortable feel cozy and very hygge for those of you who don't know i lived in denmark so die air hygelit good for kind of setting the mood for the winter season it's the, the time where you put your devices down you turn off all the electricity turn on the fireplace and put candles around so there's natural light and you feel very huge and you get your blankets your board games your card games like uno and play with the family bake some cookies have hot chocolates or mulled wine and it's very very cozy i have a lot of different scents around the house that are simply just for looks that my husband wants to preserve for some reason i don't understand and then i have some that i use regularly because i love floral scents and then my husband loves the more woody oud scents and cedar i like the flowers like tuberose, geranium, my favorite one is freesia currently. I want to get their really big ones, the rose one, but it would take a very, very, very long time for me to go through that. So perhaps when I'm, when I'm buying my house, for now, I have the large, small versions. Next are my LL Bean slippers. I have had these for a few years these are the moccasins they come in a ton of different colors i got these as a christmas gift they're antibacterial because they're sheepskin so what that means is you don't have to really wash them wash them like once a year but you have to let them air out now antibacterial so it prevents the spread of bacteria which is a good thing because that's what happens when you have natural materials in your clothes you're really comfy and i was not using them in Los Angeles very much. Simply, it was too warm a climate to wear it. We're here, it's freezing all the time. It's a good thing we have rugs. I feel like there are certain rooms in the house that should have carpet naturally, and that would be like the bedroom, especially in places that do have colder seasons. This 
is definitely a help it's a step up so when you get out of the shower you want to have something warm and fuzzy that you can walk around in afterward this is great and just getting up in the middle of the night for a cup of milk they're ll bean also so they're very very high quality and every time you see ll bean being resold it's because people are sick and tired of using it because they want to mix things up and these things never get destroyed they never get worn out it takes a lot to really destroy them so you have to have them for like a good few days decades for them to start looking like they're worn out unless you wear them out every single day for eight hours on the farm <laughs> next are my long wire chargers and my wire holders first off long wire chargers are so helpful if you have an office and like to move around into different parts of your office so in my hollywood hills office i would work on the couch then i would work on my bed then i would work on my desk and depending on what i needed and depending on where the light was shifting it helps to have a really 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 long wire especially if you're moving around the room and you still want to be able to be using your devices so the thing i like about the 10 and 15 they come in so many different colors and designs but the thing is the thread ones last way longer than the simple plain rubber ones because my rubber one it's getting worn because i'm simply doing this you also need to wrangle them because they are so long so i have wire holders that are pink you can get them in beige and white if you want them to blend in and be more subtle on the wall but i want them to be pink so they can stand out i see it right away sign up to my newsletter linked below so you can always stay updated and never miss a single post my cords are also pink and I put it on my nightstand. So it's also very uh, stick sticker friendly safe. So it's the adhesive comes off without peeling the paint. Just be careful when removing it from the wall. It still works. It has it removed and it's not something that you, you stick it once and then it gets, it doesn't stick anymore. So it's really high quality. It comes in a set of three, the ones that I got, but there are different sets. The next thing is my Sally Hansen nail varnish. And I have the top coat, which it says it dries in 10 seconds. But, which is really fast but i also have the fast drying red color and it's this bright cherry red and it's a very i want to say warm so got some blues in it like perfectly in the middle i want to say and it's a great tone for everybody i think this is great on neutral tones especially supposedly dried after 10 minutes i don't know if it dries 10 minutes i like to do my nails right before i go to bed specifically my toes because I like to keep my hands free for gardening. I don't really do my nails. I just file them down, cut them, and make sure that they are clean. When it comes to my toes, I like to go all out, especially if you wear heels that are open-toed. You want them to look like you've actually put in some effort. I don't really paint my nails often. And the thing I like about this is it dries so fast and you don't need a UV light. That also doesn't work. It's not the UV that works. It's the heat from the light that actually dries your nails, I found out. That's a bust. So just get a fan. Next are my Crown Affair hair silk ties. In the move, I got rid of a bunch of hair ties and then i saved one but then i can't find it anymore i have no idea where it is i don't know if the cat probably took it and is playing with it it's gone so i had to buy new hair ties and i bought crown silk affair and i only have three of them and i got the black ones because my hair is pretty black they're really high quality where the band is really thick on the inside i, I felt it and it was really inspecting the item and i like them because they're 15 dollars for three of them which i think is a fair price considering that other brands will have like a set of 10 or 6 to 10 and they're $40 which I think is expensive for hair ties. The more you have, the more really nilly you are. I feel like you won't take as good care of them or keep a watchful eye on them. So the more likely they are to get lost. So I got less. So I make sure that I take care of them, only keeping them in certain places and then I don't lose them. They're also really high quality and I love the fact that silk doesn't pull your hair, it doesn't gather, it doesn't cause any breakage. At least it causes less allegedly. Next is my Chanel lip liner along with my Givenchy lipstick it's the deep rouge matte velvet lipstick and then the Chanel lip liner is obviously also matte in addition to this I use this as a sort of like a Kylie lip kit but a luxury version I was looking for some very burgundy shades and I was looking for probably a week and a half or maybe more <laughs> because i was trying to match this color from my chanel lip palette that they don't make anymore and i buy them on ebay i'll have it linked below in case you're interested i'll also create a video on ebay beauty products that i buy because i from ebay that i use every single day they are my go-to's they're discontinued for the stupidest reason who knows but i'll have them linked below and i'll create a video on it also this chanel liner and lipstick by Givenchy go so hand in hand together so first off the Givenchy lipstick tried this on and it was perfect i saw it from like the corner of my eye and i picked it up and tried it on instantly and it was the color ordered the chanel lip liner because 
matches it but it's a little bit a little a touch lighter but it's still super dark that's what i wanted i wanted something really 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 dark it was really hard to find the, the, the darkest burgundy red that wasn't purple or brown next is my beauty by insiders milk melt cleanser that is a mouthful it's also known as byBI it was created by two British bloggers and I think I mentioned this before in another review I also want to add that I also have the moisturizer I'll link it below it's very gentle it's a green beauty brand the reason I say green is because I'm not sure if it's 100% clean like everybody has a different definition for green and clean but i will say that they have sugarcane bane recycled packaging material which is great and it feels like a very jelly material that you can squeeze and it's a squeeze gel bottle cleanser itself smells like a 60 dollar to 70 dollar to 90 dollar 100 something dollar from biosance so it has a very similar biosance I think it might be in English. So it has that similar feeling. Like the ingredients smell the same. They smell very similar. Like a green product, all natural. It's supposed to be products that don't harm humans. Because there are products that are chemicals that are man-made and synthetic that also do not harm humans. And we have enough testing in lifetimes to have seen that. Their products are very middle performing. So the reason I say this is because I like the fact that the milk melt isn't as strong because I have really strong intense also green company fresh soy cleanser that is supposed to remove your makeup but I do the double cleanse to really get off all the makeup because after I wash it once there still is remnants of makeup there and I extract my face and you can see all the oils and the makeup and the dirt where I wash it twice and you can't see it anymore you can't see all the the pigment it dries up my face when i use fresh soy face cleanser to double cleanse so i just use it once in the shower where the one i have on my sink when i wash my face before bed the bird bath one <laughs> i have the byBI milk melt because my face still feels hydrated but there's no pigment so it's very gentle and i love that my face doesn't feel like a desert afterward but the problem is with the moisturizer i feel like it's too gentle like i don't feel like my face is getting moisturized and it still gets like the dry spots do come out again but i do put it on my hands next is my lacuse pan be doing a lot more homeware because i'm building a house i have a lot of plans for home hosting so i think it's really important to also let you guys know a lot of the tricks of the trade and i actually cook a lot people always ask what kind of food do you cook it's like i cook whole foods not the store but the definition of whole foods like foods that come from the ground or natural not stuff from the market that with white fish they literally bleach the fish to look, make it look more white there are weird things like that so uh if you read kitchen confidential or any of tony bourdain's books I i've read all his books i've seen all the series he said that the only pan that you need as a chef is a cast iron skillet and it should be one that you should that you can knock someone out with you only need one knife also one good kitchen knife and that's it and i have one from japan that we got as a wedding gift my husband and i really really sharp we got it years ago still so sharp we have a wedding stone but we use it for knives but we don't necessarily have to use it on this knife because it's so sharp ripe apples that are super crunchy and it's insane what a really well-made sharp kitchen knife can do just be very careful um it slices through everything really easily it's got a piece of paper just like this this cast iron skillet is brilliant and it's covered in grease that's old like if you touch it it's perfectly smooth it's just stained so we need to get some 409 and make it white again and the final thing here is my yeti tumbler i originally got this in los angeles because it is really tall and i worked a lot over a year of really grinding and working like 16 to 20 hour days into my business thanks to this yeti tumbler i didn't know that it was this level high tech i got the pink one and the paint is supposed to not be able to ever peel if you run it over allegedly it still stays intact no dents it's perfectly fine it doesn't spill there's no leakage i've tested this with multiple people where i filled it up and turned it over at first i did not believe my eyes i was so genuinely impressed i was happy because this is the one thing i need if you're driving and you go over a bump and then your coffee spills god's nectar is spilt this is genius and there's also a small version and there are tons of different color options thank you so much for watching it was a pleasure having you here and i'll see you later